love you fellows. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a simple way to get rid of roaches. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this secret or I'm sure some of you may or may not know, but this is a fast way to get rid of roaches. Um, I learned this um, in my first apartment. Now I'm, I want to, I'm sharing this with you because without you know, really telling anybody else's business. But I want to share with you this tip for, um, you know, maybe you or somebody you may know, you can share this alone. So instead of telling you anybody else's business, I'm just going to tell you uh, about my first experience. Um, this actually happened um, in my first apartment, okay? Um, and this apartment, um, it was budget friendly. Uh, this apartment, it actually had three sections to it. Um, it had a section by the mall, a section in the middle, and a section by the park. So they were spaced out, but they were they were within walking distance, kind of, sort of, if you just like to walk a good 10 minutes. Um, so my first apartment, they put me at the section by the mall. Okay, so this apartment didn't have any roaches, but this apartment, the place was so small, um, not the apartment itself, but the section for all the apartments. It was just like a, it was a club all the time. So I complain, 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 complain until the leasing office had a section in the middle where I, um, I really want to be by the one by the park. That's the more popular or um, that was closer to. Um, they put me in the one that's in the middle, but that first section, it was a party all the time. And I was like, do these people work? It's like, it was always someone outside, always you got that smell in the air. I know you know what I'm talking about. And it was people like, because you had to go, my apartment was upstairs, we had to go upstairs, it was just people all the time right there. And it was people like in my, because it was like a walkway and that it was my apartment. So you couldn't get to any other apartment until you had to hit my apartment first. So anyway, they moved me from club apartment, because that was just a club, 365 days, every day, all day. No matter what time it was, it was a club. And I had to get up early. I worked. So um, they eventually moved me to the middle section. Now, this middle section, when they moved me, I didn't see the apartment because again, I was in there in the other section of, of these apartments. So they just moved to say, okay, we have, um, we have um, a apartment um, in the middle section. Um, and I had family that lived there. So how these apartments, cause each section was made kind of differently, but kind of similar. So the section they moved me to, it was either you was two people like side by side. So it was my apartment next to somebody else, but it was connected same way and then you had some just stood along like little houses and then you had some was made like my apartment from the club apartment was upstairs downstairs just a long building upstairs downstairs so i was fortunate to have just be attached to somebody else but um yeah so when i moved in the window was broke in one of the smaller bedrooms i had a two bedroom a smaller bedroom and you know, when I walked in, I just saw like, like Derek was just on the counter. I'm like, hmm, I didn't know how to feel about that. But, you know, they fixed the window eventually and did whatever other repairs they did. So they eventually, up. so then I noticed like, so these roaches that was coming out, they just had to already have been there because there is no way, because that night, cause you know, we, we were taught when you move into a place, you sanitize. If you can't do anything else, clean the kitchen and the bathroom. But I was determined to do everything top to bottom that night. Even though I had to get up early in the morning the next day, I didn't care because they had just left my apartment fixing my window. Okay, so these roaches, they didn't come out at first. Again, when I seen them, they were like, you saw dead roaches in the bathroom. Dead, it was like two or three you saw dead. I'm like, okay. Hmm. So, as I lived there, you saw more roaches, more roaches. They didn't come for me because, again, I was from the, the other apartment. That, that section didn't have roaches, but this one did. And it's just apartment connected to one other person. 
So I'm guessing these roaches was already here, just hiding and waiting till I leave, to, to um, um, I get settled. And I'm believing the people next door was a little nasty because, <sighs> never mind, I'm not going to go there. But yes, so I know I might sound like a drama queen, but it made me so mad to know roaches are in my house just waiting and especially when I used to cook it I don't know how you can, I don't know how what you see smell or scent somebody's cooking I don't know baby maybe, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just inside my head but it's not every time I would either bake some cookie fries some french fries some come out and that used to bring so much anger rage go through my body I'm like oh no it's not gonna work so one thing to do to get rid of roaches. Of course, you know, I had country parents. Um, they did every day. They, no, I'm not gonna say every day, but they dusted, moved, you know, washed their clothes. All my cleaning problems was bleach I, because in that in that apartment. You know, I love me some pine sauce and Mr. Clean too, but I just had bleach, bleach, bleach. So I did my usual, you know, I bought the little, the little black stuff. Um, it's the little, Thing, the roaches go in and so I place those about yeah, I do my regular cleaning dusting things like that but now let me tell you what not to get there is some off-brand roach spray um, it is called hot shot hot spot please do not waste your money on that I think that's just like alcohol to those roaches that did that did absolutely nothing it's a, a fly here that did absolutely nothing and <laughs> Don't waste your money on that. But you know, I, I did my usual. Um, I buy Raid Roach Spray. It's not, you can't stop there, y'all. If y'all just don't want no roaches, no roaches. And you know, you can't help if other people are dirty next door, if the roaches are here. And if those things lay eggs, oh my God. Okay, so what you need to do. Um, so in my first apartment, um, so do not buy Hot Shot or whatever off brand, only buy Raid. Um, two, I bought those little black um, things by the name brand, please. And I just place them about in my kitchen, things like that. Now let me tell you another thing that I do not buy. The powder poison, no. Because I'm always thinking, what if I touch it by mistake and touch something and touch my... I do not do it. People, I know people with children have put that down. I don't understand how you can do that. I don't do that. So I'm going to say no to that. Um, I do not do the off-brand hot shot and I do not do the powder poison. No. So this particular time, I'm going to say three weeks after I move and again, I keep my house, apartment, whatever, clean. You know, you still saw a roach, which <laughs> upsets me. I was in Walmart. I was buying my usual stock up or whatever. So there, there was a little older lady. She was like, oh, you know, I was, I was explaining to her, blah, blah, blah. The people next door are nasty. Mm -mm -mm. Which I didn't understand. Do you know what I noticed? People with nasty houses always asking, always got company, and they always cooking, want you to come over, cook, bring your children. Your house nasty, and you smell it outside. So, but I, I just never understood that why. If my house was nasty, I wanted it to be a secret. I don't want everybody to know. Yeah, I don't want everybody to know, keep it to myself. But my house is not nasty, never have been, because you know, my mom and my grandma raised me. So anyway, so the little older lady at um, Walmart told me, now what I'm about to say, y'all gonna be like, oh my goodness, that is weird. And I'm not gonna lie, it felt weird purchasing this purchasing this and I was just like oh I do not really want to do this just to pick that up and, and purchase it but it is the those sticky mouse traps I don't even like saying that word um, if you want me to cry if you want me to be like dogs like certain dogs I have a fear like if I do not certain things put fear in my body big dogs, those things that I would not say to work. I will be literally crying. And I'm not a crybaby. 
I'm a tough girl. I'm not a crybaby. I'm a mother. I'm a wife and mother of four. Not a crybaby, but those will freak me out. Seriously. So she said, buy these. Put them, you know, about your house. And I had a small apartment, two-bedroom apartment. It wasn't that big. I, my apartment was so small that I could clean my house top to bottom two times and still won't be tired. That's how small my apartment was. But it was mine. So I paid my rent on time and my bills. Um, and I went to work. So, oh, I just hate even saying that word. You buy those sticky traps, put around the house. I had no roaches. I had no roaches. I say 30 days, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say two weeks. But to be fair, I'm going to say 30 days. See, I like to give you real tips, real experiences. Nothing, you know. So if you buy those, you know, you buy those traps, put them in around, around like the kitchen, like away, you know. I had put them behind, one behind the refrigerator. You don't want to step on one of those things because, well, if it comes up, but it's a, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. So just put them away. Um, just wait for the magic to happen because it will happen. Trust me, you're gonna come back to my page and say thanks for that tip. Um, if you need to put it in the bathroom, if you need to put it in, the more you put it, the faster it's gonna work. But see, but always have your raid. Um, you can still buy those little black things. You know, just those are just pre preventative measures. Like if um, if a roach come in your house, you should have a, a can of raid or for ants or whatever in your house regardless you know, so so just keep you some raid um again those little black things but once those roaches were gone and i think i did the people next door a favor too because i'm sure i caught all their roaches and then you know they laid eggs <sighs> so that's my tip by those traps i'm not gonna say the word you know what i'm saying but they're those sticky black traps place them about. Now, you don't have to have them out and people come in your house and be like, wait, what's going on here? Because if I come into my house and saw that, I'm going to go. I'm leaving because I'd rather have roaches than those. Let's put it like that, okay? So, I just wanted to give y'all a little tip for people that have roaches. Again, um, I'm not trying to tell nobody business, so that's why I gave an experience on my first apartment. Well, would it be my first apartment or my second apartment? Well, it's still kind of my first because it's the same apartment. They just moved me from that. Anyway, but okay, well, thank you for stopping by my channel again. See you soon.